Hi, let's solve one previous question of quick sort. This question was asked in GATE CS 2014 set 3 question number 14. You have an array of n elements. Suppose you implement quick sort by always choosing the central element of the array as the pivot. Then tightest upper bound for the post case performance is and four options are given. So it is asking if we always choose central element as preferred, then what will be tightest upper bound for the post case performance? If one array is already sorted and we are choosing the first element or last element as preferred, then that is our post case. But if an array is already sorted and we are choosing central element as preferred, then that is no more worst case. That may be our best case. For example, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we are choosing 1 or 7 as preferred, then that will be our worst case. If we choose 4 as preferred, then that will be our best case. We can say one input behave worst case if we are choosing minimum or maximum element as preferred. Suppose one input is given and there always the central element is the minimum or maximum, then that will be our worst case. So if we we'll do split on that, one side will contain just one element and other side will contain n minus one element. And for best case, we know recurrence relation is 2t n divided to plus theta of n. So this is for partition and this is for balance partition 2t n divided to if we are doing split on middle. And for worst case, recurrence relation is t of n equals to t of n minus 1 plus theta of n. In some book, you will see t of n minus 1 plus t of 1 plus theta of n. This t of 1 means if there are one element and we are doing quick sort. For one element we can easily find quick sort. So t of 1 is some constant. We can ignore it. We can write t of n equals to t of n minus 1 plus theta of n. And if central element is always minimum or maximum that will be worst case. Our recurrence relation will be this and for it running time is theta of n square and for best case running time is theta of n log n. Just focus on this as it is asking the tightest upper bound for the worst case performance. So worst case running time is theta of n square. Answer will be option A it is order of n square. So whenever we are choosing minimum or maximum element as before that is our worst case. So central element can also be minimum or maximum and that will be our worst case. And for worst case running time is order of n square. I already discussed quick search just go through that you can easily solve this question and if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.